Hello, 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 and thank you for joining us for today's hashtag Live is Strange. Woo! Woo! Yeah. These are our live stream shows in which we delve into an aspect of Life is Strange true colours and invite on some special guests from the dev team and the cast. Not bad at all, not bad at all. And um, I'm Joshua, Global nah. Community Manager. Are no, you? I, I trust me, oh I am. Oh my goodness. For Life is Strange. <laughs> and who on earth are you? I am Lucy, the presenter and video creator of Life is Strange. Brilliant yes, stuff. I am. We are coming at you live from the Square Enix office here in London. And oh boy, do we have a show for you. Boy, howdy. Yes, <laughs> yes. And so uh, right now, I'm um, going to show you something mm -hmm. very cool. Before we get into the meat of the show, mm. would you like the chance to win something extremely cool? I really would, but really alas, would. I yeah. cannot. I'm not allowed, you're not allowed, we're not allowed to enter, but all of you, we're offering you the opportunity to win this exclusive jacket featuring patches designed by the singing voice of Alex Chen herself, Ooh. MXM Toon. Oh yeah. And other LGBT plus and ally creatives. Pretty good that. Doesn't it look good? And all you have to do is find the link at the bottom of today's stream or head to the link in our Instagram bio and enter the competition by donating to Outright Action International. Uh, they are a charity who support the global LGBTQIA plus community. So it, it's a really great cause. It's fantastic. And a great jacket. It is indeed. Yeah. And we have raised 7.5K so far, which cool. is absolutely fantastic. Our goal is to reach 10K. We've yeah. got a couple of days left. So please do keep those donations coming in. It's $2 minimum and we appreciate it. Yes. and it would be amazing. Um, so remember, the terms and conditions do apply and they can be found on the Square Enix website and also in our Instagram bio. So best of luck, everyone. Absolutely, absolutely. And Lucy, I'll tell you what. Tell yeah. me something, go on. I will, I will. If you give me <laughs> half a chance, I really will, I really will. Um, there, there's nothing a Life is Strange fan, such as ourselves, mm -hmm. such as the people watching at home mm -hmm. or wherever they may be, mm -hmm. uh, love more than a returning character. We do. Especially when that character is Steph from Life when is Strange before the storm. Yeah, yeah, people did go crazy for her return. We did, and then we they did. did. Yeah. We're, we're sure you did as yeah. well. Um, Steph actually plays quite an integral role in Life is Strange True Colors. She's yes, Alex's yeah. friend and confidant or romantic interest, <laughs> if yeah. you want to go down that route. Absolutely. But she's also Haven's resident DJ and mm. the nerd queen, queen of the Absolute nerds. Absolute queen. She Absolute is fantastic. Queen. Yeah, she is. Um, yeah. So not only that, wavelengths. The Steph DLC launched on September 30th, which, in which you get to her own ca main character moment. You know, yeah. you can play as Steph finally. You can see what she was up to mm. in like the year before the events of True Colors. It's pretty good. It's very good, very good. She gets up to a lot, to be fair. Mm. And um, so we simply couldn't do a celebration mm -hmm. on the subject of uh, Steph, mm. on the subject of Life is Strange True Colors wavelengths. Do we have Katie Bentz Yay! in our airwaves at the moment? Where's the KB? KBizzle. Oh, oh, I heard something. I heard a flicker of I a voice. I heard a, <clears throat> a, fam a familiar oh. voice. Oh. Ah, hey! Yes, Woo! Yes. Katie Benz. Let's get some love in the chat. In Thank the you chat, so everyone. much for joining us. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you guys Yay. so much for having me. How are you, you doing today? You guys do an amazing oh. job, by the way. I love listening to you both banter. Stop. Oh, Stop you're going to make amazing. me blush. <laughs> Stop it, Katie. Stop it. Thank you so much for joining with us today. It's wonderful to have you here. And by the way, congratulations on 10K subs on your Twitch oh, channel. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Thank you so yes. much. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I really appreciate we it. it. Couldn't do it without oh. the community. So I know, I thanks to them. We, we, we like it in there sometimes. We like yeah, it in there we, sometimes. We, have a, yeah, we check yeah. you out sometimes. Definitely. In, a, in a nice PG way. <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, uh, before we jump into Steph's very own DLC mm. wavelengths, how has the reception been to you reprising oh, your role yes. as Steph? It has been honestly phenomenal. Um, as you can see in the chat, it is like crazily Kick flying. It up. As it should be. Um, as it should it's be. It's been like that, like just all, all over social media Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. It's been uh, incredibly overwhelming and everybody has just been so kind. I've got to meet so many new Life is Strange fans throughout this uh, last month and I've just been so, so honored to be able to, to reprise my role. 
we and we're honoured that you have. Yes, it's fantastic. <laughs> nice. It's fantastic. So, um, viewers, everybody watching, of course, we have Katie Benz with us. And if you want to ask Katie a question, drop your questions in the chat. Please we'll try please. and get through as many as we can. Yeah. Um, we just want to warn you: be kind. Otherwise, we've got our mods on board, and they're going to ban you if you if oh, you're any nasties. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, we don't yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So keep it cool, keep it calm, keep it kind, yes. and ask Katie your questions. And also, spoilers. So if yes. you haven't played Life is Strange True Colors or Wavelengths and you're intending to, get off this live stream. We're going to dong the spoiler gong. Bash. Bong, bong, brr. Brr. Spoilers are coming. Spoilers, spoilers are coming. So <laughs> expect them. And if you're happy with them, um, <laughs> how, how about we jump straight in? Should we, we jump just straight jump in? straight in? Yeah, let's jump Why straight not? in. Why not? Fabulous, fabulous. Cool. Righty ho. New Steph story. New Wonderful. Steph story. That's what we want. You can see we've been playing it a lot. Yeah, I know. We've got we've got a few <laughs> saves here. Can't yeah. get enough. Can't get okay, enough. so first question. Have the you played one. Life is Strange season one? I would say we have. I have. Mm, Katie? Yeah. Yes, I okay. have. Okay, cool. We'll go with a yes. We'll go with a yes on that. Let's go for a yes. Oh. Did, oh, okay. First big question. Did you Ooh. choose to save Arcadia Bay? Is it Bay or Bay? What did you guys do? Oh, God. Katie, come on, don't turn it around on us. <laughs> Did we You're all the special guest. Look, look, yeah. look, look, look. <laughs> I okay. Well, most of the most of my community knows I chose to save Arcadia Bay. Interesting uh, decision. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What what are your reasonings behind that? Um, I so I played Life is Strange one as Katie. Um, I just, I personally like didn't relate to Max as a character, uh, which again, I think that's so that's awesome stuff. that there's so many different <laughs> characters. Yeah, there's so many different characters in the franchise that you're gonna at least relate to one of them. I related oh. really uh, well to to Alex, mm -hmm. um, so um, yeah, it was easier for me to play as Alex. But for Max, I just didn't relate to Max as a as a character. Right. Um, so I just played as Katie. And Katie would not let a whole like town of people town, just die. Yeah. Innocence. Um, even though I did love Chloe, I thought Chloe was awesome. I mm. love Chloe. I loved the relationship between Max and Chloe, but I just was like, I can't let all these people die. <laughs> like, what? Hello? I feel like the chat would be like, pardon, Katie? Like, wh why? What? Huh? It wasn't, <laughs> so, it wasn't Bay? Yeah. He, for the first, so I played it on stream for the first time, and I felt like guilted <laughs> into I choosing <laughs> save Chloe. So I, I did save Chloe, my very first one. But yeah. uh, when I played it again, I did what I had nor like what I had originally wanted to do, which is save the town. So that's what I go with as I say. Fair the enough. Town. I think yeah, we're, gonna, I like, we're gonna have to yeah. save then. Okay. okay. Well, what did you guys do? You guys save Chloe, right? <laughs> I, 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 I save, I save Chloe. You, yeah, I you did. Chloe. You save Chloe. Yeah. Okay. But I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Katie, I, I agree with you. I, yeah. I was also playing just as Lucy, and I was yeah. like, this is a whole town of innocence. They don't deserve to cop it. And also, Chloe was gonna die. It was her fate to die. I'm That's sorry. That's what I thought, I'm sorry, which is Chloe so sad. Stands. I hate I'm sorry. it. Like, I hate it, right? It yeah, was fate. true. Like, it was fate. We tried so hard to keep her alive and we just couldn't. She just kept dying and it was really sad. Give it like... a good crack. Give it a good crack. Yeah. We did. We, we took a crack day. at it, yeah. right? But there's no canon ending. Your ending is your ending. So yes. don't take any of our words for it. That's yes. the beauty of Life is Strange. We all have our different viewpoints. So. And experiences. Yeah. Exactly. So, so let's let's go with Katie's option of saving Arcadia Bay. We're going the Katie way. We're going let's the Katie do way. It. <laughs> let's do it. Here we go. So we've got questions yes. aplenty for you, Katie. Uh, Are you ready? Are you ready? I am ready. Let's go. <clears throat> let's start back right at the beginning. Did you have to actually re-audition for Steph in Life is Strange True Colors? Or were De Deck Nine just like, you know what? Get back here. We want you involved. Yeah. You don't even have to audition. <laughs> I did not have to audition, which is uh, super cool. Um, yeah, they just they just invited me back and asked me if I would like to reprise my role. Um, I do know that in some situations, actors do have to re-audition for a role that they may be reprising. Um, and so again, I'm just really uh, appreciative that they just invited me back. Amazing. Oh my Fabulous. goodness, we yeah. are just sorry. I'm just, there's a lot of questions coming through. Um, do you want to ask this top <laughs> one here? I would love to. I would Go for it. Love Go to. for it, Josh. So, Katie, what was your first reaction? And this is um, from Spiri Queer. Spiri Queer. 
Um, what was your first reaction when you heard that Life is Strange True Colors was going to be made? Your first point of contact, what was it and how did you feel? I was just uh, elated. I was excited to be coming back as Steph because I didn't know. I mean, I knew that Deck Nine was working on another game with Square. That's all we get, right? As just, just you know, the, the audience, the, the players, the, the fans. Um, so I didn't know what that was about until they asked me back um, and yeah, I, I didn't really know what was in store for the game. Um, I soon learned that Alex Ten was going to be the protagonist and it just sounded like a really great story. And um, I was just excited. I had no idea Steph's role in the game at that point when I first found out about it. I just thought she was going to be a cameo. And now here we are watching <laughs> her DLC. Hey, you are. You're very right own here. DLC. <laughs> She's crazy. Look at her. Look at her. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's crazy. How did your, you know, your fans react? Because, of course, we mentioned before, you have your very own successful Twitch channel. Absolutely. Like, sharing this moment with everyone must have been so cool. Yeah, I honestly wouldn't have changed sharing it with them. Um, being able to play the games live on stream, um, like, I would never have just played them by myself in my room, just there. Uh, I had to experience it with them because the, these folks, this community, uh, these wonderful people have been with me for the last four years. Some of them have been with me for four years. They've mm. been... Wow in the community since they found me from Life is Strange before the storm. Awesome. And um, yeah, they were just so excited back in March when <laughs> when I was watching Square Enix. Uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. And I was just, <laughs> they had no idea. They had no idea. They were just like, oh, Katie, cool. Katie's just going to showcase the, the Square Enix Presents. Yeah, That's awesome. Got a bit of interest, yeah. So yeah, it's whatever, whatever. Yeah. Uh, and, it, and you know, of course, the entire chat was going crazy uh, when Steph came, when Steph appeared um, image, and yeah. Yeah, so for the last, you know, seven months, we've just been hyping it up and getting excited for it. And it's just been amazing to be able to experience it with them. Um, I just, yeah, I, like um, I've said before, um, and many of times, the community is made up probably like 80% of Life is Strange fans, my, my Twitch community. Uh, and so it's just been really amazing to be able to to be a part of such a great community absolutely yeah. they, they feel they feel like a family after a certain amount of time they like, honestly uh, are uh, yeah like, they honestly are i'm quite biased being the community manager but yeah. i yeah. would say that the, the life is strange community is just one of the most loving and compassionate just wholesome. friendly and just love to connect and talk about everything wholesome communities out mm. there so that's fabulous yeah. i did have a uh, one follow-up question katie uh, what are your followers called is it the, the <laughs> vents brigade is it the uh, the katie cats <laughs> what, what, what are your followers called in your from your channel i like the vents brigade they're called <laughs> the cater tots the so cater -tots. it's a play on tater tots um, see as british people we don't actually have them so yeah. that that what are they like little potato fried potatoes like, <laughs> that is so wild that you guys don't have tater tots like that's just like wild did. to me <laughs> they're like i wonder so, if it's just like a, a, an american thing is it just an american thing? it must be i've never seen them in a tesco i must say that they i've never seen them on the frozen shelf but they're like they're like so our pr manager who's um also on the call shout out izzy said izzy. that they are Croquettes. croquettes is that right D yeah. chat can you let us know because i'm um, you know there's a there's a divide here it would be it'd be typical british yeah the croquettes the croquettes, the croquettes darling, darling. Yes. Yes, yes the yes. croquette tots yeah. yes Tater anyway tots is that was it that was a tangent about yeah, potatoes we just <laughs> potatoes, <yeah. laughs> potatoes are so good though so it's fine oh, yeah. <laughs> are, are um tater tots your favorite type of potato or are we are we a mashed girl or are we a, a roast i I like, yeah, I like tater tots are good, like hash browns are good, you know, mm. a little crunch, a little mm. like oh, friedness yeah. oh, to yeah. it, like Ooh. fried potato. Fried breakfast, like, maybe. Yum. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. getting too hungry for this. <laughs> Let's move off the topic of potatoes quick. <laughs> I'm too hungry. Um, so how does playing Steph differ this time from simply voicing her character in Life is Strange Before the Storm and now being the full performance capture artist for her, doing her movements and her facial expressions and her voice all in one? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, yeah, exactly. So I did just the voice, just the voice for B BTS back in 2017, 2016. And uh, this time I was able to do full performance capture. So my body, my face and my voice all at the same time. Um, except for right now when you're hanging out in the booth right here and you have her uh, point of view, that's just her voice. Um, so we did break it off a little bit and do um, all the cinematics with full performance and then just the VO lines in a VO. Uh, booth or my apartment uh, in a makeshift studio. Wow. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so basically you get a more genuine uh, performance when you're doing full performance capture. So you have 
one actor doing everything at the same time. So it's just going to flow much better on top of each other um, instead of, you know, doing the mocap and having to listen back or vice versa, watch the mocap and try and match what the other performer did. So all around just a more authentic performance, I believe. So and it was fun. It was so fun. It was so freaking fun to do full performance capture. I never oh, I in bet. my wildest dreams have ever imagined myself doing motion capture. Uh, it was awesome. And did you have to do anything in particular to prepare for that transition? Or did you have to like learn how to drum? Like, what was your prep like? <laughs> so uh, I learned yesterday on one of the uh, press interviews that uh, Erica and Felice and I did together that <laughs> uh, because I watched back the, the blister in the sun part of True Colors. And I, I remember being like, I wonder, that's not me drumming. I don't know who's drumming. It's not <laughs> Who me, Who the heck though. is that? <laughs> yeah, and Erica actually was the one. <laughs> Erica was the one who was drumming in Blister in the Sun, uh, not me. Because I never so it was the Erica show drum. the whole time. It was the Erica. It was you the yeah, away with one, one woman band. Yeah. No one would have known. Um, yeah, so I guess she filmed the singing and the vocal part of it, the performance-wise. Uh, in her basement and then I guess they had her just do the drums as well because it was easier they or easy that way They just had her do a bunch of little things like that yeah. Um, But yeah, I did remember sitting like on a Apple box and like, you know banging sticks together <laughs> but That's all I did um, So yeah, I didn't really have to prepare for that at all mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But yeah, just making sure just well motion capture was completely different so I went in there just not knowing having any clue what I was getting myself into. But, uh, you know, the mocap team, Deck Nine, everybody was like super patient and ready to explain everything. And I think there was quite a few of us who had never done mocap before who came in at the same time I started coming in at. So we were all trying to learn together and Deck Nine was just so patient about it. But just as an actor coming in and preparing, you know, I would just uh, make sure I got a good night's sleep, make sure I was hydrated, make sure I was you know had breakfast and just leave like all of the outside you know whatever i'm dealing with on the outside there and then go into the studio and just be present a so, true yeah. professional all the way yeah. through <laughs> love that um sorry we are just getting so many mm. chat questions and comments so let's let's go for it let's go for it josh so you you asked one your community manager one. get involved go so on. we have um a question from Let's just say, uh, so I don't butcher the pronunciation, <laughs> Luca Brigiato. Um, oh, I think I remember that username from last time. Oh, there we go. Well, hello again. Thank you very much Hi, for joining us again. Hello. And uh, we have uh, Katie, based on your experience playing Steph, how do you think her character evolved from Liz Before the Storm to True Colors? And also, you are really a perfect Steph. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> thank you. I really appreciate Absolutely. that. You guys are always so kind. I don't know. It's just awesome. I appreciate that. Um, so obviously we get to see more of Steph. We get to dive deeper, especially within Wavelengths. We get to dive deeper into who she is, her journey since uh, before the storm onto True Colors and onto Wavelengths. And yeah, we just really get to dive deeper into that. The writers made that so possible and they gave her so much just, yeah depth <laughs> and it was just I don't know I'm just overjoyed to be able to explore her more the first scene that I got to do um that was I guess sad that was diving into her emotions was the beginning of the foosball scene where she oh, finds uh, yeah, the so trophy and that was just uh the first time that I was able to really you know mess with her emotions because before that she was really just a dnd &D dm and mm. that's what you got to know her about she had a couple of sidelines and you know that she had that scene with chloe um and the scene in the hospital and bts but yeah we never really i never really got to explore her emotions and this one i got to explore every single emotion and so that was great as an actor uh to be able to to have that opportunity with the same character that i got to play four years ago absolutely mm. We got a question here from Little Spacehead. That's a good, good name. Love that one. How did it feel to play such an important character to the LGBTQIA plus community? Because you oh. are like, you're an icon. Mm. <laughs> which is nuts to, which is, that's crazy. Like in itself, that's crazy um, to just hear people say. Uh, amazing, amazing. We had a huge talk on my stream yesterday just about the importance of normalcy in video games for you know the lgbtqia plus community and 
they did a wonderful job here in Life is Strange, True Colors, and in Wavelengths. And I am just so appreciative of being able to to help bring stuff to light and to to help create that normalcy in video games further. And hopefully this just makes it even more possible in the future for video games that have that representation in it. So honestly, I'm just, yeah, I, I am just so, so honored. Amazing. Gracie Sirs, I believe. Gracie Sirs. Is that like Gracie Sirs, but like Gracie Sirs? I don't know. Um, they say, Katie, what is your favorite Steph line in all three of the games? So before the storm, True Colors and Wavelengths, do you have like a standout Steph line that you absolutely love? Okay. So in Before the Storm, it's definitely your choice, newbie. Um, <laughs> nice. I just love that line. It's simple, but it's just like, I don't know, it's just like a fun line. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't know, you can just use it for so many different things. And uh, True Colors, definitely, uh, I really enjoyed the Don't Shit on My Yard. Um, <laughs> their guitarist has one arm. It's amazing. That's a <laughs> hilarious line. Um, there, Yeah, and then there's another one uh, in the foosball game. Just loser says what? <laughs> And I totally forgot that that was a line. It's in the foosball game where Steph's trying to distract Alex. And it's just like super quick. And I remember Reb, Webb being like, okay, Katie, you're going to say this. And it's going to be like, you're not going to be able to understand. Players going to be like, what What did they just say? What did Steph just say? <laughs> Hilarious. I love that one. Um, and then I know I'm just picked three in True Colors, but I'm sorry. That's um, go for on it, the girl. rooftop, <laughs> on the rooftop, when Steph is talking to Alex about how Alex is there for so many other people, but, you know, she wants to make sure she's thought about herself, that whole line. I know that's not the line, but that that line is really special. When I watched it back, it just, there's just so much behind it. And uh, what, it was just such a beautiful scene. Mm. Um, in Wavelengths, <laughs> there's just so many, there's so many, I played it for the first time last week. Um, there's so many great lines. Uh, honestly, there is a line about... Uh, about just her she had this conversation i can't remember which conversation it was with um but just it's about representation and just about uh accepting who you are um you know within the queer community and i think that's just really really important um the whole chat is saying horse feet i can't pardon i don't know the what? horse feet what you play, you guys played wavelengths right you guys yeah. played through okay so in i don't know what season it is but in one of the seasons in the back room, there is a carousel, a horse carousel. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go up to it, and Steph just has this really weird line where she just, like, asks the horse if it knows that gummy <laughs> bears are made of horse feet. And uh, <laughs> for some reason, it's become Sega. such a meme. I love but, how... Yeah. I love how you, Katie, were like this really like emotional, lovely scene, and then the chat's just like horse feet, horse feet, horse feet. Yeah, horse exactly. Horse feet. Horse feet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, we got Kyle Sanders, fifteen, who says, "Do you have a favorite scene that you recorded, like motion yeah. capture wise?" I guess. Um, I would say the foosball was really fun. Mm -hmm. um, again, it was it was a good arc. That's why I liked that scene the most, uh, because you start off with Steph being really sad about the death of Gabe, and you get to see her kind of build up back into her competitive, eager, like, you know, go get her sassy side when she starts playing foosball with Alex. So I think that's just a really beautiful scene. Yeah, with a good arc of emotions. How does that work in terms of the technicality sides of playing foosball? Like, what's in front of you? Do you have to just kind of motion in thin air or do you have like a box there like how does that work yeah so as as uh the player knows when you play foosball it's just you know its own little game so oh, we're not course, actually mini game yeah we're you're not just actually kind of standing stood, there you're stood like yeah, facing each so, other but not actually doing the thing right 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 exactly right. so they have to get the cinematics of us like going into the game or coming out of the game so that's what it was they had a foosball table set up for us mocap wise with oh, apple cool. boxes Okay. And they even had like little like PVC pipes uh, for each of the handles. And so like when oh, Steph, cool. yeah, w when Steph like walks by as she comes into the room and she's kind of like reminiscing, um, she touches one of the, yeah, yeah. the handles and that was a PVC pipe. Um, oh, so yeah, okay. a lot of the, a lot of those cinematics that you see, um, like even like the kiss, like they have to get us going into something and coming out of something, um, especially the mini games. So mm. yeah. That's interesting. 
I didn't, I didn't actually know that myself. It's amazing. So amazing. I've learned something today. As, as have I. Yeah. As have I. <laughs> I know we've spoken a little bit about um, some of the scenes and how the scenes were captured. But uh, we have a question from uh, as uh, Retray Ry 13. Ry Retray? Retray? R -Y -Tray R -Y -Tray 13. Oh, that's Ryan. Ryan, there we Is go. Is that Ryan, Ryan himself from the game? Yeah, it's <laughs> Ryan from the game. How did he Came know? Ryan Lucan, what are you doing? He's on to us, he's on to us. <laughs> Must have heard a bird. Uh, so um, <laughs> what was uh, one of your favorite off-scene moments, behind the scenes, just larking about, having a good old larking, time? Larking, like yeah. a bird. Well, nice. oh, it never ends, does it? <laughs> it was just, there was just a lot of fun banter on set. I mean, obviously, like, you know, we know when to get into the professional situation and recording and all that stuff but it was just fun just to hang around with the other actors uh mo mostly i was hanging out with eric uh, erica and eric um but i did get to hang out with anastasia as well um and it was just diane, fun sorry is that right yes 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 diane yeah. mm -hmm. yes diane jacobs so it was just fun being able to just get to know them mm. and and hang out the actor space because for instance uh i spent a lot of my time with eric most of my time with erica but there was times where Eric was also on the set too, who um, plays Ryan. And so when when Erica had to do a bunch of scenes by herself, like I, Eric and I would be hanging out or vice versa. So it was just fun to get to know everybody, get to know each other. And it feels like it was such an eternity ago. And I just missed the whole process of it. Um, one of the things though, um, <laughs> I mentioned this before, but during the DLC, during the Pride, the this uh, summer season mm -hmm. there is a shot where Steph has to pick up this like pride logo thing that's like on a uh, the the CD rack yep, yep, um like a or the, the kind of thing yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah. and mm -hmm. so they they mo-capped all of these objects that Steph had to pick up and this was mo-capped so I would be picking it up with my left hand it was like this like PVC pipe thing and I had to pick it up with my left hand and then like go put it away and I walk up to it to go pick it up. And I hadn't, this was it, we were running, we were going for a take. And I walk up to it and I, I attempt to pick it up and I cannot pick, I can't pick it up with my hand, my hand. Like I try to pick it up and it's just like weighing down on the other side. Like I have these like really weak noodle arms. And um, I watch, no. It, no, I wouldn't, want, I was so embarrassed. And like Webb and Corin and everybody just started like laughing at me because I'm so weak. Um, and oh then as I was telling the story while I was playing the game and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like Steph's going to pick it up, you know, with her right hand because I couldn't pick it up with my left hand. Well, it turns out Steph ends up picking it up with both hands. So oh. I guess I, I guess, um, we probably attempted for me to pick it up with my right hand, but I still could not pick it up. So we just hey. picked it up with both hands. <laughs> yeah. So Haunted by a PVC pipe. Yeah. <laughs> Better than not to get in post. You got it with the two arms. You got it with the two exactly. Arms. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So whenever you see that, just know Katie was weak and couldn't pick it up with one arm. Authentic so. pipe lifting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got Gagezilla04 here who says, how much oh, of Steph, <laughs> it's a good name. How much of Steph's personality is Katie and how much is from the developers? Oh. I honestly think Steph is Steph. Like there's a, there's a ton of different Stephisms that Steph has. And, um, I don't know. She's just like I, I, Steph is much cooler than I am. She's much <laughs> cooler than I am. That. Much more down Come to on, earth. Katie. No, but seriously, look honest. at her. She's so cool. She's so cool. <laughs> You're cool. Um, Come on. But I would say I don't know. I'm like obviously like the way I walk is obviously Steph walking. So there's that. But like you know, she's got my facial expressions. So some of my facial expressions you'll see. Like if you've watched me on stream, maybe you'd be like, oh, I've seen Katie make that angry face before <laughs> or something um but like she's got like a she's got like a half little smirk that she does and i don't really i don't think i do that i think that there's truly just a stephism that steph does um and the, yeah the way she holds herself is kind of more just grounded and and um just kind of laid back and that's not that's not me um so she yeah she's got her own she's got her own ish going on which is cool that just, just reminded cool me character. of uh, that reminded me of the the iconic line up next a very special request from some chick. Ah, uh, yes. yeah. like I would yes. never say that. Like I would never have the confidence <laughs> to say something like that. Very okay, cool. she is pretty cool. Yeah, she Steph is. Yeah, she's she's, 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 she's cool. She's, she's, cool. she's, she's cool. so cool, right? <laughs> she's so cool. Wait, like I can, you I can well. roll Come on. her. <laughs> oh, so we we've got a fun one. We've got a fun one. So. Uh, Anyone who watched last week ah. or saw the clip that we posted on our Life is Strange social channels since uh, will get this. Um, 
It's a, a question from, um, I, I don't really recognize the name. Wait. Um, an Erica, Erica Maury. Maury? Uh, Oh, like oh, sure. what has yeah. Erica got? It rings a bell. Uh, what has Erica got yeah, for she, me? She, hmm? She's got, um, my question for Katie Benz is, what was your favorite video game growing up? Ooh. And why was it Mortal Kombat? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, okay. I saw this clip. I saw this <laughs> clip. Uh, so I actually, I think I remember playing Mortal Kombat like at a babysitter's like house or something. Nice. But m my favorite, I had a couple favorite games growing up. Spyro. Oh was awesome. my gosh. Oh, where's the tattoo? Okay. Yeah. I well, love I mean, Spyro. I have it's green, so I'm <laughs> yeah. not sure if it'll get like green screened out, but I have a Spyro tattoo. She does, yeah. <laughs> you do? I do. That's so cool. I have a crystal dragon. So oh I'm Oh my gosh, amazing. I love that. Yes. Spyro mugs around the house. As I have well. so much yeah. Spyro merch. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> I love oh, I love Oh my you, gosh, <laughs> that's so cool. I love that. Okay, I have so a little Spyro's Spyro a plushie. One. Um yes. yeah, so Spyro. Uh, I I played the heck out of the Simpsons Hit and Run. Oh, um, what a game! game. What Fabulous a game! game. Yeah, yeah. And then little old uh, eleven-year-old Katie, or maybe even younger, was playing Grand Theft Auto Vice City oh, and yeah. just running yeah, people over. Katie, so you know, maybe that's why I'm so chaotic now. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Hopefully not to that degree. Uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, maybe maybe not that. Hard. No, not to that degree. Yeah. <laughs> so where does the do you? Is Mortal Kombat more of Erica's thing then? And, and like, I guess, yeah, Vice Erica, Erica can have the fighting game. Uh, but yeah, no, I never really played Mortal Kombat. I remember playing it, like I said, at a babysitter's house, but I don't think I had it personally, so I just never played it. We'll leave that to Erica then. She can, yeah. she can do the Mortal Kombat thing. Just did it then, though. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll yeah. say maybe you as well. Maybe you as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who else have we got? We've got Ayla Blitz, who says, I would love to try voice acting. Have you got any recommendations on where to begin? Ah, great question. Yeah, um, I think research is your best friend. YouTube is your best friend. Google is your best friend. Um, something that's really great right now uh, that there's so much bad stuff that's happened with the pandemic, obviously, but uh, for acting, everything's online right now. Every still, everything's online. A lot of things have not um, gone back into live studios yet with with um, actor classes and VO classes and such. So you can actually go online to these VO classes that would be in person in LA or New York and you can take them online with people that are in LA with instructors that are in LA. And, uh, you know, it's it's a it's a little bit of a penny, but it's worth it and you get to learn a lot. And there's a bunch of introduction classes. Also, the actor's resource guide, I think the voice actor's resource guide, if you Google that, it should take you to the website. I think I might have mixed some words around, but that should take you to the website. And that just has like everything voice actor related um, for your resources for you to um, learn more about voice acting in Los Angeles, uh, different studios that do a lot of voiceover um, projects, different agents and uh, some good reading material, too. So. There you go. Hopefully that's, that helps. That's an absolute wealth. That is a wealth <laughs> of knowledge. See, this is what you get when you ask Katie Benz a question. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous answer. So we've got another one here. Um, do you have to do anything to get into character for Steph? This is from uh, Sophie9746. Mm -hmm. uh, either through voice or motion capture. Do you have to like run on the spot or do any lunges or do the Matthew yeah, McConaughey listen like to a certain song? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so it, it's always been like, okay, I need to get back into Steph's voice. And so uh, I would always just like b b before voiceover, before doing a scene, just to get me warmed up, I would do the good old. Durgeron, the unscarred, and I would just do that in my in oh, my head and just do it. That was, that just, was weird. That was it. like having Steph there. <laughs> there she is. Yeah, there so she that's is. what would help me get back into my voice. Uh, I would even sometimes do the you cho your choice newbie just to get back Why? into Steph. <laughs> yeah. Can you do that line again? Sorry. <laughs> the Durgeron line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Durgeron, the unscarred. Where is that's she? so Where is weird. Where is she? Ah! Oh my god. Yeah. That's so yeah, her voice is a little bit like down a little bit. Like her tone is a little yeah. down. She's got a little bit more like like yeah, she's got this like giggle to her um and just this like sassy like not a sassiness but just like she's up to something. She's always up to something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that was so strange. I've got like <laughs> weird chills from like hearing you do that. Um anyway, fantastic. Love that. Um Alex underscore Granger Stone. 
uh, says, what was the most difficult scene to record, emotionally speaking? Or which one do you identify with the most? Mm. By the way, you're amazing, and your performance as Steph was just great. Thank you so much for this amazing character. Aw, thank you. So sweet. Everyone's so nice. <laughs> um, I would say just the the rooftop was was some not 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 necessarily uh, difficult, but I just wanted to make sure that it was gonna come off authentically um, in the end product. So that was something that I, I really, really, really worked hard on to make sure that I had the lines down so then I could, you know, fully perform with Erica. Um, so that was really important. There <laughs> So I actually outside of the studio, not even related to deck nine at all, um, hurt my leg. Um, oh, no. yeah, like a couple years ago and just actually from streaming too much. So if you're a streamer out oh, there damn. and I actually should listen to this, get up, take breaks, walk around, get your circulation moving because your leg may swell up. Oh, damn, um, wow. PSA from so, Katie Benz there. Yes. <laughs> so I remember like, yeah, I had to go to the ER and everything, but I ended up coming onto the set with like uh, a wrap and I was limping. And so in, uh, episode two in chapter two, the, like wobbling around, it, I, it doesn't look like I was wobbling around, which is good. But uh, walking into the apartment after either Steph or Ryan um, helped to uh, get the flash drive with Ella, Alex, um, I was kind of hobbling around there. So that was difficult. Um, it was like a physical difficulty, but also trying not to get in my head about it uh, and just like going forward with it. But Webb was so awesome and uh, made it a lot easier and changed a few things to make it better for me. So, in true yeah. Steph spirit, you overcame. Mm. You overcame yes. the confidence. I love, yes. it. I love it. Fabulous. You yeah. can't tell, by the way. I had no idea. I had no idea you were hobbling. So, <laughs> is that a hobble? No, 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 no. it's not Definitely a hobble. Not. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to ask something? I'd love to. Yeah. I would love to. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Okay. We've got one from uh, G's Full. Uh, Katie, did you improvise any lines that are actually in true colors? Oh, that is a good one. Any mm. ad, ad hoc sort of things? No, we had to be like, like you had to say exactly what was on the script because they have like a whole procedure on the back end. So if you got one line wrong, we had to like redo it again uh, to make sure that we got exactly what was there. Um, and so, yeah, sometimes I would say doing voiceover work, I would say, you know, I would just mix up two words, but we had to redo it, even if it was saying the same thing. Um, I don't know, like, I, I don't know if it has to do with the uh, closed caption, like, you know, on the, the game. I don't know what it has to do with, but they just have, you have to make sure you get it right. <laughs> so ah, okay. there's not too much room for improv. Interesting. I guess we have such a good script. Who needs improv, Who hey? Needs improv? Yeah, no, honestly, like this. <laughs> honestly, I can I could gush about the the writing and the scripts all day and all night. They were just so amazing, um, just so so well done. Uh, I think they are probably my like favorite scripts I've ever received as an actor because I would go through them and I would learn them the night before, uh, depending on what we depending on when I got the scripts. I would learn them the night before in my my hotel room. And I would just be like, wow, like this is so easy to say. Like this is easy for Katie to then turn into Steph and say. Because a lot of the times as actors, you know, we get lines that don't make sense. And we're like, mm. this doesn't make any sense. Nobody would actually say this. <laughs> right, right. But with Life is Strange and the scripts that I received, that's anybody would say that. Mm. It, you know, it's just the writing is so natural. Yeah. And it translated really well to performance. I think that's half of the reason why people can see themselves a lot of the time and connect so much with the characters. Mm. Because mm -hmm. it is such it's, a natural dialogue. Yeah, for sure. I, I really noticed that as well in True Colors with the texting. So whenever you went on Alex's phone um, on my block or just texts between people, I was like, that's literally how people text. That's, yeah. you know, I would say that. So it's. I've it's, seen you say it. I've you've, had a text you've seen from me you. Say it. It's been similar, mm. I can confirm. I had to learn a lot of lingo. Like when I was playing Wavelengths with the text message, there was some like. You know, lingo I had never heard before on the chat. I was like, what does this mean, guys? I don't know what this acronym What's means. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, what, what is a LARP? What is that? <laughs> but yeah, there's some, some interesting stuff that I even learned. Um, yeah. Every day is a school day. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, Savannah Zoe has said, if you were able to have your own radio station oh. and reco uh, record store in a small town, uh, would you live and stay there? I know I would. Big smile emoji. Big smile emoji. <laughs> like if, if like tomorrow somebody was like, hey, we have this really great opportunity. Wouldn't it come be a DJ and yeah, live would, in would you do that? this little tiny town? Um, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, it would be a great opportunity but I feel like I'm in a good place right now in my life. So I don't know <laughs> if I would pick up a move uh, to go do that, but it would be super cool. Um, ever, yeah, I've heard a lot of comments about people saying, oh yeah, Katie should have her own radio show or talk show. And I'm like, well, I, I mean, isn't, I mean, I stream on Twitch. Stream? I think that's kind of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, we do a lot of weird stuff, but you know, like, <laughs> I don't know. That's <laughs> as close as I, I think that's close enough, right? I don't know. Twitch.tv but... forward slash Katie Bents, I believe. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. shameless plug there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, it, um, uh, let's say that you, hypothetically, your answer was, I'd love to do that. I'd love to have a radio station and be a DJ. Yes. What would your DJ name be? I'm showing my age Ooh. a little bit here, but we, we, in, in Britain we had Dr. Fox. He, 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 he was DJ, wasn't he? Um, <laughs> who, is, who is that? What, what would a my Westwood. DJ name be? Yeah, West, oh, yeah. He's summoned, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I kind of want to do, like, something that just, like, rolls off the tongue nicely. Like, DJ Katie. I don't know. Just, like, but KD. DJ Katie, wow. That's... K, like, KD. <laughs> DJ um, K Bizzle. Oh, okay, okay. K Bizzle. K -Bizzle. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, yeah, or yeah, I don't know. Uh, or, inspired. Yeah. <laughs> I'm inspired. Maybe yeah. stick to your your stream. Maybe your first yeah. answer was right. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's fine. yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. K DJ. That's nice. Oh, I like K yeah. DJ. Hey, DJ. We're getting, there. We're, getting there. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're, we're getting close, know. guys. We're, we're getting close. We'll, get we'll brainstorm. We'll brainstorm. Indigo Blade. Ooh, great one, great one. Oh my gosh, my eyes are going. I need glasses, guys. I'm sorry. Indigo Blade 809, I think. That's a nine, yeah. That's a nine. Okay, I'm just, you know, I'm squinting here. <laughs> what would be Steph's power if you could give her one? That's a fantastic question. Mm. Well, you know, she's kind of, you know, a psychic a little bit. Mm. So we should just continue rolling with that, you know, and just develop it more. And okay. she can just tell the future for everybody. Uh, nice. I think that would be good. Yeah. She's got a knack for it. She's got a natural ability um, to read people, uh, their future. So I think we should just keep Love going that. with that one. Okay, cool. Love that. Love that. I've just, uh, I've just heard a report that <gasps> Erica Mori. Erica Mori. As, I see her. Uh, <laughs> Life she was like, I was in emote Alex jail. It's <laughs> <laughs> just... Joins the Twitch chat. Let's get some hello love for there, Erica Alex. as well, guys. Or Alex, hello to Erica, sorry. <laughs> Eri well, she is so pretty much Alex this point, as well. Yeah. Uh, yes, hello, Erica, Erica Mori is the actor and full performance capture for the main character, Alex Chen. So she is Amazing. here with us. Amazing. Thank you for joining us, Alex Erica. Alex and Steph. Oh, as it should be, you know? Can you believe Team it? Team Steph. Technology Team Steph. these days. Amazing. <laughs> Wreck My Plans in the chat has said, if you lived in Haven Springs, where would you want to work? Would you work at Charlotte's mm. Dispensary, the record store? By the way, you'd have to replace Steph in the booth. Oh, yeah. um, or the Black Lantern. Whereabouts would you, Katie Bentz, uh, work in Haven Springs? I, I would work in the record store. Oh, I would work in the oh, record store. Like, if I wasn't doing anything else with my life and I was like, I need something better to do, you know, something different, I would go and take up that job opportunity in a DJ booth at a mm. in a different small town. I would. So, yes, I would take I would take uh, Steph's job. Amazing. Kick Steph out of there. What, 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 <laughs> sort of, yeah. what sort of music would Katie be? Ooh. Or what, what was your DJ name? DJ? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> what was your KDJ? <laughs> there we go. Um, there we go what would KDJ play? I I like a lot of uh, different music. I have a very eclectic taste in music. So just like a bunch of random stuff. I kind of like poppy, like indie alternative stuff or, you know, punk pop. I can go back to like my nice. middle school days oh, and yes. uh, throw on some My Chemical Romance. Oh, so yeah, we got a lot, got a lot of uh, variety <laughs> of stuff that I would like to play. Maybe a little bit of death metal, maybe. You've got yeah. a favorite death metal band still, Katie? <laughs> I am uh, not into death metal. That fair might enough, be uh, one of the things that I'm not into, but I respect it very much. Absolutely. I respect <laughs> it much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Joshua, go ahead. I will. I will. Uh, God, we got so many mm -hmm. brilliant questions. Ah, here we go. Uh, we have one uh, from 
lovely Lucy 25. Again, which, I recognize which, that username. And I, I'm still suspicious you. that it is you. <laughs> um, How is it me? I'm here. I mean, you, you've got a phone somewhere. And you're, you're going away. You're going away. <laughs> lovely Lucy. Wishing you were 25 again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me out like this. <laughs> I'm old, it's fine. I'm allowed to rag you. So did you have to learn what it's like in a real radio station before recording for Steph? Any 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 preparation there at all? Did you sneak into any radio stations? No. No. Just have a natural um, I, ability. Just yeah. came to I you. think yeah. I think with just like Webb and and uh, the writers and stuff, I think just saw the crossover probably of me streaming on Twitch and just maybe felt like I could take it on and uh yeah i don't know like i've done i've done some like audio stuff some video stuff i, mm. I kind of understand that and i think it was just natural that steph would be doing that so i was able to just put myself in steph's shoes and like what would steph do and also it was super awesome because if you if you've played the game you'll see that yeah in this first season she has no idea what she's doing she's mm -hmm. super <laughs> awkward and super weird uh, so I got to, you know, learn with Steph, you know, um, as we went on, went on to the future seasons. Yeah, you you were like falling into the microphone and everything. It was, <laughs> oh, it was great. It was quite and those lines were so awkward. <laughs> <laughs> How can we make her just super uncomfortable? Okay, let's go. We've got local girl gamers in the chat who says, Katie, would you rather live in Arcadia Bay or Haven Springs? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I kind of will. I think I'll pick Haven Springs. I think I'll pick Haven Springs. Yeah. yeah. I think a nice little mountain town sounds really good about now. Yeah. So picturesque. So gorgeous. Yeah. I suppose you, it's you've beautiful. kind of experienced it because Colorado, where Deck Nine Games are based, is very that. From what I've yeah. heard, we haven't been there well, yet. There's, but. there's some. Yeah. So that area actually is like pretty flat. There, you've got like the mountains mm. off in the you distance, like which is beautiful. And I and I went around and I explored a lot. Um, so yeah, there are def definitely places in the neighboring area of Denver that is very similar, really similar to, to Haven Springs. Mm. I really want to go, mm. but curse you pandemic. Mm. Yeah, I think we were set beautiful. to come over and, uh, and see we everyone at Deck Nine and then they were like, no, by the way, Aww. global pandemic. So we're like, ah. Yeah. Great. We didn't take it personally. It was, it was everyone. It was everyone, so it's fine. It's fine. By the way, everyone who's watching, thank you so much for joining us on hashtag Live is Strange. We are currently chatting with Katie Bentz, oh, who is the full performance actor and voice for Steph Gingrich in mm. Life is Strange True Colors. If you want to ask her any questions about her role in Life is Strange Before the Storm or Wavelengths, which is the DLC that we're playing right now, we certainly are. Um, yeah. or Life is Strange True Colors, please do drop them in the chat and we will ask her live right now. Absolutely. Um, Speaking of which, we have Sly underscore Cooper underscore 32. Ooh, reference. Nice. <laughs> Video games. <laughs> How did you go about reprising an iconic role like this with her all grown up and all the stuff? Uh, yeah. Uh, so I had to kind of just feel it out and figure out what she would be like as she was now an, an adult. Um, but I kind of just went and grew with the script as her character and her uh, involvement in True Colors grew as well. Um, so yeah, because again, coming in, I only thought she was going to have a cameo. I had no idea that she was going to be uh, such an important character in this game. Um, but yeah, I remember it was, okay, Steph's going to be a good friend to Alex, and we're just going to go with this and see how it happens. And then a, a little bit later, I'd come, I came back on set, and they were like, all right, cool, so Steph is actually going to be one of the romantic options. And I go, what? Hell and so yeah. <laughs> as I learned, you know, her involvement in the game, I just kind of grew with that and developed Steph as you see her now in the DLC Couple. with the Deck Nine oh, and the writers beautiful. and everybody. Love that, love that. Um, what else have we got? What else have we got? Oh, this is a good one. What has, what has surprised you the most about this entire experience? Just the overwhelming love from this community, honestly. Um, I saw it a lot in, in, in Before the Storm after being a part of that game. And it's just like a hundred times crazier now and in, in the best way. And I never expected all of this love and support from the Life is Strange fandom. 
They're, oh. They are so kind. They are, I mean, we were talking about it earlier. Mm -hmm. They're so kind. They're lovely and I think, it's, I think it's because these games harvest such a, a wholesome you know, a wholesome vibe, a wholesome aura about them. Mm. Really empathetic. Um, it, I think it's a certain person that appreciates and plays and loves these games. And so I think that's truly why the community is so amazing. Because it's just full of all these people who, you know, love wholeheartedly, you know, and, and, and just care so much uh, about people and about emotions and feelings and representation and... Yeah, I don't know. For me personally, it is quite amazing because even before I was even, you know, remotely involved with Square Enix or the games industry, I played uh, the original Life is Strange um, when it came out just through word of mouth. And I was like, this is fantastic. The soundtrack, just the way these characters are written. I love this so much. And, you know, just to go from that to like now working on the game is like, a dream this come is true. so good. It's so good. Yeah. I, I do. I do love it. So it's it's amazing to be part of the community in both like the way of being a fan, but also you know helping shape the game as well. It's it's mm. which I'm sure you feel as well, Katie. Yeah, I, I had never played any of the games prior to Before the Storm. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I've played all of them now, mm -hmm. but I hadn't I hadn't heard about them because I took a I didn't game for the majority of my life. I truly got into gaming once I performed to stuff in BTS no and then started streaming on Twitch. Yeah. Ah, I wow. yeah, I'm not I'm not a a gamer as uh, a lot of people on Twitch are, you know. Um they start streaming on Twitch because they're a gamer and da 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 da. I started streaming on Twitch because I was said I was told, "Hey, you should do a playthrough of BTS." And I was like, "I don't know what this means." <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's do it. And it just snowballed into what it is now and it's just incredible. Wow. Uh, but yeah, I've, I am as, as well, I am such a fan of these games and I get giddy over all the little details and the music and the relationships mm. and it's just amazing. I love that. Love it, I love, love it. That. Um, Casey's 22. If you could take anything from Steph and have it in real life, what would it be? I'm assuming they mean an object or... Or maybe an aspect of her personality. Ah, okay. All that, or a yeah. bit of advice. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, well, I saw Deep. Yeah. It's not the question. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So let's go with, um, I think just, yeah, the advice she ends up giving us, or I guess not giving us, but she ends up figuring out for herself in Wavelengths is as a player, we find out that, okay, she's been so hung up in trying to find something that's going to make her happy or make her less lonely, you know, for instance, finding a, you know, a, a new partner on the dating apps. Mm. And she's always just looking in the future. She's not living in the present. And I think that that's probably what I've taken away from Wavelengths and stuff just as an individual is that, you know, if we just focus on the, the greatness that we have, like she has this amazing record store mm. that she's a DJ for and she's literally impacting the lives of people in the town that you get to see on the emails like she's literally helping people and so for me it's just like oh my gosh like katie okay focus in on what you're doing right now mm. you're streaming on twitch and you are actually making an impact in a lot of people's lives um and that's amazing and so just being able to look and focus on the present instead of being like okay well i would really like to move or you know all these other things that really don't matter right now at this time they don't matter and when you do focus in, stuff just happens. Stuff just falls into place when you're not looking for it. Obviously, Alex Chen walks into the radio store, the record store, and there's Steph's potential, you know, partner, if you choose that way. So, yeah, it's just, that's what I've really taken from Steph's story and the game. That was wonderful. I really like that. I love that. Oh. I, yeah. Well said, Katie. Well said. Welling up a little bit there. That was absolutely <laughs> lovely. Live in the moment, guys. Live in the present. Yeah, it's, enjoy, it's hard. Enjoy life. Right. Enjoy life. I really yeah. like that. Uh, my turn. My yeah. turn. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I want go, to go, ask go, Casey go. A question now, please. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is from local girl gamers again. Is, is oh yeah, we've, question? We've, I think we've had local girl gamers. Oh, just, so. just, just Hello doing again. great questions. Well done there, <laughs> um, Katie. If you could play any other character in the entire Liz series, uh, who Ooh. would it be, and, and why is it Ducky? <laughs> I added that last bit. She just asked. 
<laughs> who, who would it be? Who, who would it be? But um, that was just my the crossover addition. we never knew we wanted, but now need. <laughs> Ducky is actually my like him. favorite character so in good. True Colors. I love Ducky. Gorgeous, I don't yeah. think that I uh, fit like the description of playing. <laughs> an old man but maybe me i mean may, anything's possible right um i don't know that is so, that's great there's so many there's so many different cassie right in 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 liz too oh uh, yes yes cassidy what a great what a, oh, yeah. yeah cassidy what a great character. character and just yeah. like i don't know she's just so cool and she just brings this like calming energy i think to the situation that daniel and sean are dealing with and kind of helps sean kind of see i don't know just kind of stop for a second you have them running through the freaking going from uh going all the way down to mexico and running for their lives and she's just kind of stops and, and calms them down again if you so choose to go that way uh but uh, yeah cassidy would be awesome um yeah there's so many amazing characters yeah there's so many amazing and how about yourself lucy me yeah. who would i play yeah. don't what what is this um valkyrie the cat valkyrie. yeah, yeah. The cat? i think i'd do a good cat a good cat impression. i'll agree we'll just be a two little cats running about that sounds fun <laughs> <laughs> although i do think i do think kate would be a great ducky can you give oh, us a, an, a like an old man impression ah yes like a brilliant, ducky brilliant, impression. Brilliant, yeah. an old man impression to rival jim uh. hunt let's go let's go oh god i'm gonna do like the the biggest like it's gonna be such a bad impression i don't know how to do an old man impression without yeah. it sounding just uh mocking i don't know uh, uh, hey there. Oh. How are you doing, kids? Yeah, you I don't know. Ducky? See, that's very oh, mockery ducky. because Hello that's there. like an, <laughs> everyone. I think we've just got that's ducky like an old man. Oh my god! That's like an old man who's like sitting on his porch, like I don't know, somewhere down in the south, like you know, smoking <laughs> a, a pipe. Like, that's not ducky. Yeah. I can't yeah. do a ducky. <laughs> I thought um, it was pretty good to be But there. he's, but he's so. All of his lines are so good. Just like, yeah, I don't know, just he's the way so he sweet. talks, and again, so the lines. He's so good. I sounded like a cat. Yeah, see, I can't do it. <laughs> That's my Valkyrie impression, actually. Yeah. Just kidding. But what Lucy was actually trying to tee up there was her impression of Ducky, which oh, is world famous in the God. Square Enix offices. <gasps> do, it, do, it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's um, pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Nearest Alexander oh! Chen, it was an honor to dance with you at the Spring Festival. I don't know why he's British. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're British. You're British yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> well, I thought it was pretty good, go. actually. Wonderful. I love that. You? That was so good. Oh, I would, but I've lost my throat. I've lost my oh, voice. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's been gone this yeah. whole time. It's, it's coming and going. It's coming and going. God, yeah. Yes, Alex. Yeah, that, yeah. Next I, week. I, I yeah. loved it. Yeah. Alexandra. I just <laughs> needed your impression to help me understand how to actually do a true ducky impression. I got you, Katie. Yeah. I got so you. I don't yeah, know if I can do a British one though. Yes, Alex. I can't do it. No, I can't do a British one. Alexander. My British accent, no, you don't want to hear it. It's bad. I feel I would uh, embarrass everybody. Um, I love how our producer, Erin, is just kind of cracking up. She's in the cracking corner. up. She's like yeah, yeah, yeah. laughing yeah. so much. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Another question. Another question. Questions. Okay. Uh, Nom the Burritos. Mm. Great name. Uh, Katie, what's your take on what happens to Valkyrie in the Steph and Alex Leave Haven Springs ending? Oh, I think that Valkyrie stays. I think Valkyrie stays. I don't, I think, you know, it took Valkyrie a long time to get out of the vents. And Valkyrie's just comfortable in the record store. And as you can see in True Colors, so, uh, in the park <laughs> um, and just around Haven Springs. So I don't think traveling is in Valkyrie's. Personally, I don't think traveling is in Valkyrie's uh, future. Mm. I think that cat can look out for itself as well. I don't oh, think yeah. they, they quite need Steph there given how no. ferocious yeah. they are towards Alex. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, I agree, I agree. Um, Let's have a little look, Lou. All right, the heat's no excuse. I have no idea how to pronounce that first one, by the way. Not a clue, <laughs> not a clue. <laughs> okay, let's, um, let's say um, Akiz Free N. Uh, Katie, who was your favorite background character? in Life is Strange True Colors, and why is it Ducky? So that, that, oh my god. That, 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 that was me again. <laughs> what is that was this Ducky? Oh, is that, so wait, is your, you like Ducky, okay. I just, oh, um, yeah, I think our phone's I like Ducky ringing. too. Should we answer our phone? Oh, let's answer that phone. Let's answer that. 
<laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry, Casey, for interrupting. No, you're fine. I thought you guys were doing a bit. I was like, oh, the phone's <laughs> ringing. <laughs> 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 the phone is ringing. Yeah. That old phone joke. Oh, the old it's phone. Ducky. You know? It's Ducky. It's Ducky. Ducky's on the phone. <laughs> I thought you guys were doing a bit. I don't know. Um, I was ready to go with it. Um, so, okay. So, like, background. Um, I think... I like the story of the the awkward girl and the awkward guy. They are the cutest. Oh, yeah. The little couple that are just they, they, they can't tell each other how they love each other. Yeah, yeah. That's so yeah, sweet. it's just so it. cute. And I love that they have all these different stories. You know, you have the owners of the ice cream shop. Mm -hmm. You you have poor bald guy. You have all. Of these... <laughs> I was gonna say bald guy. He's, he's yeah. <laughs> You have all of these different uh, NPC character stories that you can go and read their their emotions and learn about their story and their arc throughout the whole game, which is so cool. Mm. That is so cool. I don't feel like I've ever seen that amount of character arc in NPCs, like ones point. that are just kind of there, you know? Yeah. And I love how you can choose to interfere or Alex can step back and be like, that's none of my business. Um, exactly. But I do love exactly. how if you do... Um, get the couple to actually admit their feelings then they're like together on my block and everyone's like about time yeah. and everyone's like did no one out like were we the only ones who didn't realize we liked each other it's just so sweet i love it it is sweet it. Um, it is super sweet yeah that's really cute um uh, okay this is the one that i can't pronounce a, a kiss 3n i'm so sorry Castrian. Wait, is that my? I think that's my friend, Akison. Oh, Akison. Akison. I can never pronounce it either. That's oh, just amazing. Elsa. <laughs> that's one of my like uh, best friends from growing oh, up. So hilarious. Welcome. Akison. Akison. I can't pronounce Akeesan. it either. See, Elsa. I'm not the only one. Okay. <laughs> Elsa slash Akison. Thank you for joining us, Katie's old friend. Um, Katie, who is your favorite? Oh no, we've already had that. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was the one that we just did. Okay, just there you go. Elsa. So much. I blame whoever was doing the the questions, yeah. adding them to our document. <laughs> we've scorned our producer in the corner. We've they just didn't answer. like my answer. It's fine. I can re. I can change it. It's They're fine. Right. Sorry. Ducky, ducky is my f ducky. 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 <laughs> It was Josh the whole time. He, he's the one who put it back in there. Um, yeah, yeah I, I, wanted, I just wanted you to say Ducky. That was it, yeah. <laughs> oh, you are forgiven, producer. You are forgiven. Okay. <laughs> Ke uh, sorry, is this Vasey or Casey? I can't see. That's in the way. Is that a Vasey, would you say? Vasey Vassi Ganable. Vassi sure, Ganable. there we go. Vasey. Vasey yeah. Ganable. Uh, Katie. Uh, what's your dream role now? Ooh, what's in the future for Katie Benz? Oh, um, I honestly, like, I have thought about this a lot. You think about this a lot because that's a question I think a lot of actors get. Um, but I think doing some kind of evil, uh, Ooh, evil. like evil antagonist role would be nice. really fun fun yeah. yes i'm playing resident evil village right now and yes that also Ooh. had a huge uh, part in me saying this uh yeah lady lady d she is a, a wonderful She's character fabulous. and i think it would be so fun to take a swing at uh, a character like hers nice lady dimitras we've played that as well oh, we together. certainly have we it's, certainly have yeah such, oh, so much yeah. fun i uh, will scream at that yeah that, that's a, that's a scary <laughs> it's game so good oh, it's, it's just so, so good, good. So good yeah. where are you it. up to um, I just beat Lady D. Oh, I don't know. Maybe oh. I didn't. I don't know if she comes back. Oh. I have no idea. But she turned into some weird centaur dragon lady and she was <laughs> oh, fighting. Oh, yeah. I remember that bit. I remember that bit. <laughs> I was not um. about it. I was, like, screaming for, like, 15 minutes straight. But I didn't die. I managed to well I managed to des destroy her. So that's where I'm at right cool. now. Okay. Um, okay. Can yeah. we get um, a Lady D impression, <laughs> do you think? Oh, <laughs> gosh. I don't even know. I don't even know. She's very... Uh, she's... I don't, is she British as well? She's very like posh and. She's got. She's like. Mi she's got like a mid-Atlantic kind of. I okay. don't even know what any of her lines are. What was? What would be one of her lines? Ethan I can't even Winters. think. Ethan, Ethan Winters. Oh, there yeah. We they, go. Exactly. Ah. There you go. Bring yes. Them out, yeah. Ethan oh, yeah, yeah. Winters. Oh. Something. Yeah. Just kind of. Ugh. Nice. Ugh. Yeah. It's like nice. mid-Atlantic. I've come to destroy you. Oh. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Everyone in chat's like, TikTok. please step on me, Lady D. <laughs> like... That's me. Oh gosh, I can see the memes now. I can see them. Uh, <laughs> uh, Baker. Oh no, these are Roman numerals. X V one uh, one. Yeah, that's Jacole. Is that thirteen? Oh, is that 14, How do you know 17? these people, Katie? <laughs> like just from I, these they're, 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 some from of these people are people from my community. Oh, yeah, really? they're amazing. Oh, yeah. Wait, what, what number community. is that? Ten five. 
I think it's 17. 14, 17. Oh. 17? 17. See, 17. I can't do it either. I have 17. no idea. We I should don't know, know anything about given Rumble Final Wars. Fantasy, but <laughs> apparently not. <laughs> yeah. um, did taking on the role of Steph reveal or help you learn anything about yourself that you didn't know about yourself before? Yeah, so going back to just like realizing that I need to just live in the moment, I think, mm. is the biggest, the biggest takeaway. Um, and also just, yeah, I don't know, just being confident, I guess, with where you're at in life as well is another takeaway um and just yeah counting your blessings all those kind of things i don't know it's just like yeah there's a lot of good takeaways from being steph and just from the experience overall um being able to reprise her um i'm just uh thankful for it all and we're thankful that it happened also as i'm sure everyone in the chat is yeah it's just wild i still can't i, I still like honestly i still can't believe it I think my favorite word for the last month was surreal. And even hanging out and talking with you guys and seeing folks in chat, like it's still so surreal. I never would have expected that this would ever have happened. You know, moving out to LA six years ago, I never, never would have expected this. Oh, okay. We need to we need to have a catch up soon, don't we? We need to get together once it's all safe. Do some air guitar. Yeah, I would Actually. absolutely love to come over there. I know you yes. guys want to come over here. Oh, but I want to go over yeah. there. Oh yeah, we'll we'll sort something. I, we said this last time with Erica Mori. We'll all get together. We'll have like a Life is Strange reunion. Mortal Kombat. I uh, would, yes, Erica. <laughs> yeah. Let's get on a plane. Let's go to London. Let's freaking go. Karaoke my only night. experience. My my only experience of London was having my baggage not make it to London from because Air Canada lost it. Oh, I don't know what? where it went. So I'm dragging like my carry on. It's windy. There's no. broken leaves flying in my face. Oh, I don't no. know. I was like, I don't like London. And then I saw <laughs> really, really bad uh, no. perform a uh, really bad um, uh, show of Chicago on the West End. It was horrible. Really bad. I was like, this is. It was bad. It was so bad. <laughs> Like, yeah, the, the, the production of Weston or the production of Chicago I saw in the Weston was just not good. Oh, damn. And I was so sad. And I was like, London's not fun. Okay. But that's, so that's my experience. I need to have a good experience yeah. of London. I need we, to... We've got it sorted. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of all of your luggage. We, yeah. we'll, we'll sort that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Lucy, it. you actually do an incredible one woman show of oh, um, Chicago, don't you? So. She'll do that for you. It'll be amazing. It'll be Wait, amazing. yeah, it's, Cell Block it's, Tango? It's flawless. Yeah. We had it it's coming. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Better than yes, the West End. Lucy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It'll be brilliant. It'll be brilliant. I love that song. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited right now. Okay, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting so sweaty, by the way. This, is, this, this room is not ventilated. Mood. Um, <laughs> Lots of lights and um, few yeah. fans. Few fans, few fans. Okay, I think we've got time for a few more questions. Couple, a couple. Um, Joshua, if you want to go ahead. I would love to. I would love to. Um, do, 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 do. Really oh, right. this one is from Call Me Nightwolf. We will. We will. <laughs> Nightwolf. There we go. I did, did it. it. I did it. Uh, which ending did you feel was the most satisfying for your character, Katie Benz? I think after playing Wavelengths, I honestly think that Steph staying in Haven with Alex is this again, this was for Steph's, right? For Steph's mm -hmm. character. I think that that would be the best thing for Steph because we learn that she always, you know, is running away from, from issues. She's running away from her past. She's running away from just everything. And so if she goes away with even if she goes away with Alex she's still you know not accepting her current situation she's still trying to look for something else uh that's better even if she has Alex with her uh and of course if you know she ends up leaving without Alex she's still searching for some I've just played my uh my second playthrough where I romance Ryan and poor Steph we just see her leave you know she didn't even give anybody notice she just leaves and I felt so bad because I had just played wavelengths and I was like oh my god poor Steph so I think Steph and Alex need to stay in Haven Springs and just enjoy their life. And they can always travel later, you know? Yeah. There's time. It's, There's time. it's, it's nice for Alex, you know, she's had a turbulent childhood yeah. and growing up, she's been passed from pillar to They post, need each so, other. Yeah, just both staying put, putting down roots. I think that's, yeah, that is yeah. a good ending. I agree, I agree. Yeah. Um, question regarding D&D &D from Nom the Burritos again. 
Uh, Steph is obviously a fan, and so are Nom the Burritos. But what class would you LARP as? What class would I personally LARP as? UK events, oh. yes. I've never even thought about a class that I would LARP as. Um, oh my. Uh, I think it would be really fun to do, to be a wizard or something yeah. along those lines. Uh, yeah, I want to say wizard. I've never played D&D as a wizard um, because it always seemed like it was going to be really difficult. So I always just went for like the easier classes. Uh, but I think doing a wizard, being a wizard for a LARP would be really fun. Nice. I mean, Steph does have an amazing witch outfit. Oh, in, she does. Uh, she in does. I need to get on that. I need to get. I need to get myself a, a little witch. Do that cosplay Absolutely. next. Yeah. I need Absolutely. to. I need to. Right. I need Halloween. To. Perfect. I do it as yes. Well. I love it. Yes. Yeah. Love yes. That. We'll all be witches. That'll be our. That'll be our night out. <laughs> in London. Yeah. In yeah. London. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've got Laws Twenty Four. Team Chenrich or Team Luchin? Hee oh. hee, sorry, I had to write it. So, real qu Oh, okay, that wasn't the question. They were just having a An little- An opening bit, I like yeah, it. Just yeah. a little bit, you know? <laughs> What's your favorite scene from True Colors and Wavelengths? And Wavelengths? Oh my gosh. Okay, favorite scene so, from both, I guess. My favorite scene from True Colors is uh, Alex's scene with Jed. Right at the end? At the end, yeah. yeah chapter five. It's, I mean, it's, just, it's all Alex, it's all Erica. Uh, but it's just, uh, you know, it's amazing. It mm -hmm. is so well done. It is so well done. And I learned recently from Webb that Erica did that in her apartment by no. herself. What? Yes, by herself with Webb and Corin over a Zoom call. Whoa. The endless talents of Erica. Erica Mori. Mori. Goodness me. She is so freaking talented. Absolutely. But like that scene, just uh, the entirety of chapter five is amazing. There's so much amazing scenes, mm. so many amazing scenes in True Colors. But chapter five just, I mean, it sent me. It sent me as a player, personally. I cried throughout the entire chapter. But yeah, uh, the the last little monologue bit with with Erica um, is amazing. It's fantastic. And then the scene in the uh, orphanage, right mm. where, uh, like, after, I think it's after Alex screams and, you know, she's just, I think she's just talked or listened to the memories of all of these people saying that she's not good enough, that she's, you know, out of control. We don't want to, we don't want to foster her. And then Gabe walks over to Alex and basically just digs into her and just, you know, oh, it makes you think, you know, is this really the ghost of Gabe or is this Alex's subconscious, mm. which is how I interpreted it. Yeah. And it is just, oh, heart wrenching and so good. Mm. So good. Also, they did an amazing job. like that bit with Jed, with the lighting and everything, it was just so oh, stunning it's beautiful. to watch. Yeah, and like if you look really closely in the eyes of Alex, yeah. the emo the colors of the you emotions the that Jed the is feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Oh, it's so good. So good. Not that we're biased. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I, totally I'm objective. not biased. I'm not biased. <laughs> I, I will stand on that. I'm not biased. The game is good. Very Objectively good. Objectively just amazing. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we are almost coming to a close, but let's squeeze in, I think, Tina. maybe one or two more. I'm so Tina, one, two, one, one, three. A lot of numbers. A lot of numbers, not a numbers. Um, which one of the phone calls in Wavelengths was Ooh. your favorite and why? The game, the uh, DLC we're playing right now. Yeah, um, I would probably say the, the, the pride guy, the pride guy character, mm -hmm. um, and just talking to him. And I think it's a very important conversation um, and it's just a, an important NPC to talk to and to, to give life to. And yeah, I think that was a really, that was probably my favorite one. Also talking to Ducky was super fun too. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's, that's a good answer. I, like that. I, I like you know, that yeah, that was, a, that was a good one too. I definitely, when I played it, I definitely chose, because there's different options. Like you roll the die and you won't, like people are getting different numbers. So there's so oh. many different ways. Yeah, so you don't I always get that. like a high number. You could get a low number. So I got a low number when I was on the conversation with Ducky and oh. one of the options was you die. And I just clicked it just because I wanted to see what it um, was. I... But yeah, she's like, so you die. And Ducky is just laughing about it. And she kind of like talks about how he dies in this like weird way. That's like, wouldn't, doesn't, would never happen. 11 year and old just... uh, GTA evil uh, yeah. Katie coming yeah, out. Yeah, like, yeah. Just yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it was it was the, both of those were really fun. But yeah, the the pride the pride conversation I think was super important and uh, a lot of good lines from that one. Oh, 
there is a great question here from um, Ilka T, Ilka T06. Katie, what's your favorite song from all the Life is Strange games? Oh. P.S. I absolutely love your performance as Steph. Oh my With gosh, what's the name of it? Uh, it's the one, yeah. it's the one, okay, it's the one in Life is Strange 2 after Daniel wrecks havoc on that uh, house and just kills a bunch of people. Uh, uh, yeah. what, uh, um, what's the name of the song? And I don't it's, know how it goes. Uh, uh, is it I Never Meant to Hurt You? That yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. I Never yeah. Meant to Hurt You. Yeah. What's the Please name? don't go what's away. It? That one. Favorite song, oh, hands no. down. Yeah. That's going to annoy um, me so bad, but choice, I know which one you mean. Th that one, uh, I think... I'm so glad too that I didn't, because I didn't, I didn't know anything about Life is Strange too. I went into that one, you know, obviously completely blind, and I didn't listen to any of the music before. So like hearing that song for the first time, and it was just like so well put in with the the scene. Mm. Oh, it was so good. It was so freaking good. Yeah, that one just like really hits hard. But all the songs are amazing. A daughter, just the the entirety oh, of Daughter. Beautiful. Yes, thank you, please. Mm -hmm. Um, and just. Yeah, the wave, the the songs and wavelengths and the songs in True Colors. There's just so many good songs. Girl, uh, Girls by uh, Girl in Red. Yeah, I was so oh. stoked when I was like, yes, I get to play it. What in a wavelength. perfect song as well amazing. for this DLC. Yeah. Like so amazing, perfect. so good. Yeah, so there's so many great songs out there. Yeah. Amazing. All right, final question time. Last one. Last one. I have a question for you guys after the final question. It'll oh. be a quick one. Oh, okay. Lovely. Uh, okay. Lovely. I'm scared. Okay, drum roll. <laughs> Last question from Baker17. What do you, Katie Bentz, hope people <laughs> slash players take away from their experiences playing True Colors and Wavelengths? I think that um, just the reminder, just to be nice to people, be kind to people, give a smile at somebody when you're walking down the street, when you're, I don't know, say, say hello and, and ask how the cashier's day is going um, when you're checking out your groceries. I think just, uh, you know, calling a good friend and, and checking on them. I think that's the most important thing is just, you know, being a kind person and, and checking on people, uh, even if you Absolutely. don't know them, even if they're strangers, um, because you never know what people are going through. Only Alex Chen does because <laughs> he can read people's minds. And that's um, a superpower. Like, that is a superpower. Just we don't be kind have that. to people, yeah. Yeah, just be kind to people. You really never know what people are going through. Fantastic. I think that is a perfect line to end the stream on well Thank i need you. Bo to wrap up I such know, a lovely beautiful. stream that i need i need to ask though i have to Ooh. for my own for my own sake and for so many of the fandom's sake okay who who the heck is behind lucy is it you <laughs> are you making all these edits on tiktok because i personally <laughs> need to know it's and i think us. everybody in this community needs to know who is it who are making these edits uh we actually it's a team of us it's so of us, yeah. uh myself, so you guys are all Joshua. making different yep. edits we're, we're we got erin as the yep. producer right now um we got izzy who is our pr manager she's uh on the call with you um yeah. and we've Gemma. got Gemma from um, a well. lovely agency we've yeah. got like a whole collective of people that do it and you guys so are just coming up with these ideas and then producing just, them you know we we've just got, we've, got little, we've, we've got a little channel that we all we all chat on yeah and all, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's God, they're lovely. so good i've never seen anything like it before you know <laughs> it's yeah. like we people see the well. twitter they see the instagram and then you go to your guys's tiktok and it's just chaos. Chaos. chaos wild that's where the chaos is yeah wild i think we were quite everybody loves it we we cool. we kind of just got given TikTok and we're like, go right, for it! Go. Like, here we go. Take take the reins, you know. Yeah. So I, I yeah, love thank it. You, you can Kate. actually see in our um, it was our challenger approaching video where we all yes, we yeah. all do our little stances, yeah. the little that's that's so team you can TikTok. See us, that's team TikTok. Mm -hmm. Team Liz TikTok. Yeah, I love it. Cool. Thank you. So thank viewers. you for answering my question. <laughs> oh well. No, thank you for asking. You've answered and viewers. so many of ours a, and everyone else's. That's a great segue <laughs> into follow us on TikTok if you haven't already yeah. at Life is Strange Game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's official and by us and it's hilarious. So do that. Yeah. But also that is the end of our stream with oh. Katie Bentz who plays Steph Gingrich. Thank you so much for joining us. It has this been is so fun. Wonderful. Can we get some love in the chat, please? Yes. For Katie Bentz. DJ KB. DJ KB. <laughs> yes, and uh, Katie, uh, where can people find you if they want to follow you? Online, of course. Not, not in real not, life. Not, not in real no, life. No, no. Yes, please. Yes, yeah, please don't follow me in real Stay life. Stay clear, everyone. Yeah, um, <laughs> so they can find me at twitch.tv slash Katie Bentz, uh, Twitter, Katie Bentz, and then on Instagram at Katie Bentz Official. Yeah. Those are, Lovely. I'm the most active on Twitter and obviously Twitch. So, yeah. Amazing. Fabulous, fabulous. So, amazing, everyone. Go follow Katie and, of course, 
your ch your streaming channel as well. Yes, yes. All join, the things. Join the masses who are all over Follow there. Follow the the Kater Tots, Crocate to Tots. Oh, Crocate to Tots. Tots. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Tots. nice. Chaos. Yeah. 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 The Benz it's just Brigade. Chaotic. The Benz Brigade. Go, <laughs> you're up go for some follow. Chaos. Last time, chat, let's give some love to Katie Benz. Uh, Bye, Katie. It's been later. It's been a joy and a pleasure. Bye. Mwah. Thank Mwah. you, guys. <laughs> and just before we wrap up the stream for good, we just want to give one last final reminder that we have an amazing uh, competition that you can currently get involved with, but not for long. There's a few more days left until it's gone for good. So uh, make sure to head over to the link in our URL that you can see at the bottom of the screen right now, mm -hmm. or in our Instagram bio. Uh, be in with a chance to win, donate to a fantastic cause, Outright Action International, who fight for the humane rights of LGBTQIA plus people everywhere. So you're really, your money is really going to an amazing cause, and helping people all around the world. So head over there and uh, you've got a couple of days left. So get over there, good luck. Fabulous, fabulous. So thank you so much everyone for watching. Uh, we, th th this was the last one. No, only what? joking. No, we're joking. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be doing it again next week. Yes, next we week, are. and we're very excited to do so. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And uh, next week, we are so pleased to be joined by special guest. Felice Kwan. Our Police first Kwan. member of the development team at Debt Nine Games, mm -hmm. the fabulous narrative designer on Life is Strange True Colors. Yeah. On in the game, so narrative focus, you know that's going to be a goodie, so make sure you join us then. Yeah, I'm very excited to chat to Felice. She uh, had a massive part in the LARP scene in episode mm. three, so it's iconic, and I can't wait to chat to her. But for you guys watching at home, thank you so much for joining us for our second episode of Hashtag Live is Strange. It has been wonderfully chaotic today. Yes, really yeah. enjoyed it. Make sure to follow us on our Life is Strange social media channels. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's at Life is Strange for most of them. Mm -hmm. But as Josh usually says, Google it and you'll probably <laughs> find us. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be putting all of our updates out on there. But for now, we have been your hosts. I've been Lucy. I've been Joshua. And we will see you next time. Love you, Thank everyone. You. Bye. Bye-bye.